Jess and I'm the social and community lead here at Intuit Australia in our custom success team. And this is my colleague, Chris, who's the self-help lead. Today, we're gonna to be talking to you about single touch payroll or STP. And we're gonna be covering off on some of the more technical aspects of STP. We hope that this is gonna make it easier for you as a small business owner to make sure that you are STP ready. So sit back, grab a drink and join us for this quick cover. questions we get about STP is, does electronic lodgement need to be enabled in order to start setting up STP? Great question, Jess. Um, so put simply, yes it does. Now, the process of enabling uh, STP is fairly simple, but it, it can go quite wrong if you don't follow the right instructions. So what we're going to do from today is actually um, in the description below or wherever this is being posted, um, we're going to provide you with a set of instructions and we'll make, make sure you set it up. Great cover. Very first time. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Start it right, go from there. Um, so one of the next questions is, and because this is a new concept, mm. what is the final checkbox in STP used for? Yeah, so the is final checks box checkbox is um really for one situation. And that situation is this is the last time I'm paying my employees this financial year. Now there's two scenarios where that typically occurs. Um, either an employee leaves the business, such as through a termination or the other one, which is much more common, I would hope, is it's the sort of the final pay run of the year. So it gets to sort of that June 30 pay run and that's the final pay run. You just will be checking the is final uh, checkbox. That lets the ATO know that you won't be paying that employee any more time during this, this fiscal year, yeah. Terrific, all right. Um, so obviously sometimes we all make mistakes mm -hmm. from time to time. Mm -hmm. What happens if we make a mistake or the business owner makes a mistake when they're lodging STP? Mm -hmm. um, can they go back and fix that? So um, yeah, so the ATO has actually provided some pretty good guidance around this and you can check it out on the web website. I implore you sort of, you know, go to the ATO website and check out the information on STP. Um, they're not going to fine you for making mistakes. I know a lot of people have concerns about, you know, receiving fines. Um, as long as you correct that mistake in the next sort of pay run, or you go in and adjust it and do a, an update event, um, is absolutely no problem. I would say definitely try to make that sure that that final pay run of the year is correct, because that can obviously make things a little bit more complicated. But um, yeah, the ATO is not out there to find you. They, they just want to make sure you're submitting the right information. If you make a mistake, correct it next time. Awesome. And so I suppose one of the other things mm. is business owners have so much to deal with, what happens if they go to lodge STP, realize that they've forgotten to lodge it the week mm. before? Do they go back and do it retroactively? Um, so this is sort of a broader question. Um, the, I guess again, I'm always going to try and use the ATO's guidance on this. Is the ATO's guidance is you should be setting up a, a pay event um, for every single pay run. So that's either at the time of completing the pay run up until that time that um, you would actually pay the employee because that's not always on the same day. Um, if you forget, um, obviously, there's no point sending two because what a pay event is, what STP is, it's sending the year-to-date totals. So the next week's pay run is going to give the most recent information. Um, but the reality is, is it's a simple radio button tick um, during the sort of the last step of completing a pay run. So um, it's very easy to do an STP event. It's literally single touch um, once it's set up. So there shouldn't be any issues sending out the pay event every time on that, time. Yeah, that's really great to know. Um, so speaking of pay runs and paying employees, mm -hmm. does STP change the way businesses pay their employees? Can they still download and pay their employees, for example, using an ABA file? Yeah, um, so once again, the answer is it, it's not going to change the way you, you pay your employees at all. Um, what what STP is, is, is reporting on the year-to-date totals of what you've paid employees um, in wages and super, etc. Um, so yeah, if you pay them through cash, bank deposit, uh, APA files are a real time saver, even if you pay them with a check. As long as you're paying in your employees and you're reporting the totals, the ATO is happy. Great, and naturally the next question would be, does that impact the way we pay or businesses pay superannuation? Um, so no, it doesn't. Um, again, it, it's reporting on the totals, um, whether it's wages, whether it's super, um, it, it doesn't change the frequency. As long as you're, you're like, Obviously, paying your employees super um, in a legal process uh, in the correct time frame. Um, yeah, no changes at all. Great. And last question mm -hmm. If an employer has set 
set up their pay run to mm. pay um, employees automatically, yeah. do they then have to lodge um, to the ATO separately or is it going to be done simultaneously? Yeah, so great question. So one of the, the newer features to QuickBooks Online uh, payroll powered by KeyPay is the ability to be able to automatically um, send pay runs and complete pay runs. Um, but the ATO's guidance on this is like, they can't actually do that. You have to, uh, a human has to be the one to submit that event. So what will happen is, is um, once a, while the pay run is done automatically, um, you will still need to go in and um, go into sort of QuickBooks Online Payroll powered by KeyPay and um, lodge that event. Again, it's it's three clicks after logging in, so it, it's not too much of a hassle. But that is just um, sort of an ATO regulation for now. Um, so yeah, you will need to go in and, and submit the event. Great, awesome. Well, thank you so much for addressing these questions for us. I know I personally had a few questions about STP and I know so many businesses would. Um, so it's been really great to go through it with you. Thank you, Chris. No worries. And make sure that if you do have any questions, uh, you take a look in our community and that's where they can find some help, right? Yeah, absolutely. So there's amazing help available in the community. We launched a brand new community platform earlier this year. But equally, um, there's a lot of great help right within the product itself. Click that little question mark with help next to it in the right hand corner of your product and you'll find a whole range of articles and we even suggest you articles based on the page you're on as well. So if you're on the employee tab, you're going to see some fantastic content about STP and payroll. Brilliant. Make sure if you do have any questions, visit those sites or just leave us a question below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick cup up and we hope to see you for the next one. Hey.